Introduction to Dockets for the Advanced Legal Research course at Boston Law School. A docket, according to the Administrative Office of the U.S. Courts, is a log containing the complete history of each case in the form of brief chronological entries summarizing the court's proceedings. A docket sheet provides a summary of proceedings in that case, including a dated listing of all activities and papers filed, like this docket from the Google Books case in the U.S. Supreme Court. When a lawsuit or appeal is filed in a court, the court assigns a docket number to that case, which is used by the court to organize all filings and actions involved in that case within that court. Dockets provide information about cases both pending and decided. The docket provides the names of the parties, attorney appearances before the court, and a brief summary of the claims or charges. Newer dockets are available online, but older dockets can sometimes be found through court libraries or archives. Dockets can help you follow an ongoing case, letting you know everything that is going on in that lawsuit as the case develops. When Lexis or Westlaw indicate pending appeals in the case history, that information was probably obtained from the docket. Dockets on Westlaw are not part of the global search, but must be selected as a specialty area to search. Westlaw also links to dockets of reported decisions when those dockets are in the database under the Filings tab. Dockets on Lexis are in a separate subscription service called CourtLink, which can be accessed from the product picker in the upper left-hand corner or through a Dockets Court Link link on the content page. Dockets can help identify pleadings, such as complaints, answers, motions, as well as briefs and any other documents filed in the case. Pleadings and briefs can help you identify potential arguments or causes of action. They can also be good examples to assist in your own legal writing. Some electronic dockets provide access to the actual text of court filings. This recent docket from the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court links directly to the documents connected to this docket. This docket and others from the Mass SJC and the Massachusetts Appeals Court are available directly from the case docket public information page. These dockets are searchable by docket number, involve party, attorney appearance, lower court or lower court judge. The documents in some cases are not public information and their documents may only be viewed by the counsel or party of record with proper identification. There are similarities and differences among the state courts. States usually have at least one trial court of general jurisdiction and various courts of limited jurisdiction such as family court, probate court, or land court. States will also have one or more appellate courts. With all this variation among courts, it's not surprising that there is no comprehensive source covering all state court dockets. For recent state court document dockets, it may make sense to start with an individual court website. Not all dockets or underlying documents are available online or for free. PACER, Public Access to Court Electronic Records, is a service of the United States Judiciary that allows users to obtain cases and docket information from federal appellate, district, and bankruptcy courts via the internet. PACER is a pay-as-you-go resource, and while fees are modest, the sheer volume of information can make some PACER results very expensive. Each federal court maintains its own databases with case information. Because PACER database systems are maintained within each court, each jurisdiction will have a different URL, and the format and content of the information may differ slightly, as do the dates of coverage. The PACER case locator is a national index to the case dockets on PACER. Litigants in federal court file their pleadings through CMECG, Case Management Electronic Case Files. Legal research vendors like Wessel, Lexis, and Bloomberg Law get docket information and some pleadings from PACER to make available to their users, often in a more user-friendly form. Here at BC Law, we recommend going to Bloomberg Law first for federal court dockets for both cost and ease of use. A separate video explains how to find and use dockets on Bloomberg Law.